Flint Should Do It Cooperative were formed back in 2014. Um, it was an idea that came together um, due to two people, very different people, who worked in the communities of Lynchia. They were quite disheartened that things weren't moving forward for people in the communities of Lynchia. Um, so that's where the idea of Do It was formed, that's where it was born really. So for example, we've created a community bands, we've run community cinema schemes, uh, whatever people are interested in. We think that's about working alongside citizens. That's the most important thing, the, real, the people from the community, people from third sector or voluntary organisations, but also those working in public services and social care and health, so that we're all having a conversation at the same time, as opposed to what typically happens where, for example, social services might call people in for a consultation exercise. So we think if you're going to design better ways of doing things and delivering them, you need to involve the people who might benefit from that stuff from the beginning right through to the end. So Do It are a cooperative. Um, they've been working with Care to Cooperate for the last couple of years. Um, we always talk about something called the cooperative glue, um, which is quite interesting. Um, it's an idea where people from different pockets of society or different pockets of communities have various issues, quite similar is issues like um, a lack of service, isolation, and that cooperation, that cooperative glue kind of binds those people together. We think it's working great. I mean, we've, we've created lots of projects and we're coming up with ideas all the time around people's interests and we've got a simple action plan in form that we use to take an idea into action. We've got a sample of people here today but that doesn't represent the whole picture so we have folk with dementia, uh, folk with mental health issues um, and just folk. So we're, we're really inclusive but we're not label specific, we're about everybody in the community and that's the strength of doing it. Do It Cooperative promote self-help and that links quite strongly to the Social Services and Wellbeing Act. Um, so empowering people to do things for themselves. So to go out and look at making friends, looking at what they want to do in their own community and looking at how they want to change their own lives. Through cooperation, I think they prove that by people coming together, supporting each other in the community, that somebody can move forward and develop and have a happier, more fulfilling life. So Care to Cooperate have given us and still give us that support on that journey and uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without them. My advice would be um, spreading um, what uh, I'm doing with Do It and get them to come to us and do some get them to do some work with us, just do it.